Good morning, Raymond Temple. Today is Thursday, September 17th. I'm out here at your garden. I could not resist showing you our new murals that we have here. If you walk through the green belt, you're going to see these beautiful, what I call supersized veggies and fruit. All here with your garden. There's some pumpkins too. Some pumpkins. So exciting to be able to show you these brand new murals that we just had installed. I just love them. So welcome, today is Thursday. I'm gonna put my bell down here and start our announcements. First, I wanna remind you, if you are running for student council, make sure that you turn in all of, um, to turn in your form to me, and please make sure you have those phrases from the teachers that verifies they are giving you permission to run for student council. There may be one or two of you that I think accidentally turned in your form. So make sure that if you did do that, that you let your teachers know because you need to make sure that you have their permission. September 21st, all forms due to Dr. Salas for student council. Also want to remind you that this Friday, tomorrow, September 18th, we do not have school uh, due to parent conferences. You have a student free day. Uh, let's see here. Set about make sure. All right, I think. Oh, it's time for yoga. Good morning, Rain and Temple students. Mr. Goss back with another pose, and then we're gonna then we're gonna tie in the first week, the second week, this week, third week. So focus, power, and stability. That is our warrior pose. So here it is. So if you were to stand, right? Step your left foot back. Take the left heel and pivot it to the mat. So we got about a 45 degree angle. Let's bend the right knee. Let's take your hands to your hips. So we're bending the right knee. We're straightening the left leg. Take the arms out in front of you. And then take the arms straight up. Warrior. You know, that, that pulls of strength, focus, power, and stability. So you need those attributes you think you may need in what we're dealing with today, right? Distance learning at home, away from your normal rhythms with your friends and with your teacher and your normal engagement. Very, very important pose that I'm teaching you today. Again, warrior one, we'll call it. I'm going to step your left foot forward. We'll step the uh, right foot back. Again, back heel. So the foot is about an angle, and the back heel is on the mat. Your hands on your hips. Let's be in the left knee. Really strong in your right leg. Take the arms out in front of you. Take the arms up. Again, warrior one. Focus, power, stability. Take your curl hands over the center, the straight in the left leg. Take your hands to your hips. So then we're going to start. Tadasana, we did it week one. Grounding pose. Pressing through the soles of your feet, firming up your thighs, arms alongside your body, opening it up across the chest and shoulders. Tadasana, mountain pose, where we get a chance to root. Tree pose, week number two. Taking the weight into your left foot. Take your right heel to the inside of your left ankle. Take your hands to your hips. You can take the arms up. You can take the arms as you bend the elbow. So just imagine the arms as branches of a tree. And here we go. Vrikshasana, or tree pose. Hands back to heart center. 
You turn from the right foot. Hands on your hips. Left heel to the inside of the ankle. Stand up tall. Firm up your right thigh. So that's the trunk of your tree. Pressing your heel into the inside of the ankle. Feel your spine going long. Feel yourself opening up across the chest and shoulders. Bend elbows, branches of the tree. Imagine it's windy. Santa Ana's blowing, but you're still strong and stable. Tadasana, first pose. Drikshasana, tree pose right now. Maybe grow the branches of your tree. And smile. So Tadasana, tree pose. Warrior one. Focus, power, stability. And let's change sides. I'll train. turn the other direction for you. Warrior one. Step four. Hands to your hips. I will see you next week. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Goss. All right, it's our word of the day. As you can tell, I'm trying really hard to do a few things all at once, but it is beautiful out here. Our word of the day, prepare. Prepare is a verb. Remember that a verb is an action word, or it tells you what the noun is, was, or will be. The verb to be. Verb is an action word. And the word of the day, prepare, is a verb. Some synonyms for prepared, it could mean that you're rehearsed or you're ready. When you, an antonym of prepared is that you're not ready or you're neglectful. Here's my sentence using prepared. Our scholars prepare for their Zoom meeting by being organized. All right, that is our word of the day. Here we go. I want to leave you again with your beautiful Raymond Temple murals. Bye, everybody. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.